Yeah, and can't really call it a fun fact, but um, my first ever, I guess, proper job um, was while I was still at university. So I was 19 years old um, back in 2015, and I landed myself a job on the um, product excellence team at Alton Towers. Um, and you might be thinking, what does product excellence mean? But actually, the question you should be asking yourself is, what happened in 2015 at Alton Towers that was an absolute catastrophe? Obviously, there was a huge crash that everyone knows about. And uh, my team that I was working on was the frontline response. So we looked after the social media, um, customer services, um, day-to-day complaints, emails, phone calls. We were like the frontline response to anyone that was contacting um, the park at that time. And being 19 and that being your first job, that was kind of only really a weekend job or a summer job while I was at uni, was um, very intense. And then all of a sudden, like, we were under national scrutiny because obviously this terrible, terrible thing had happened. Work so hard that people don't have to ask your name my experience um, I'm literally just myself and then people seem to warm to that and that's how I get referrals leads and things so I'm like you can hack this and you can hack that and it's like but there are no hacks like just show up every day do the work and people can sense that you're a trustworthy person and will then I guess want to work with you because again they sense that transparency that openness and you work you use the word magnetic which I think you do attract like for like people. We build marketing up to be this huge thing that it, at the point where most people are at, it doesn't need to be that. It it just needs to start somewhere and you need to start, you need to begin. Most people just want to feel valued, listened, appreciated and cared for. And I think because I've always approached marketing and sales with like the customer in mind and being empathetic towards them and wanting to actually truly understand where they're coming from. I think that's why I've been successful in this career. Not because... I've done this new hack or jumped on this latest trend. Like to me, it all comes back to people. You should want people to approach your business like it's a car. Like they really want to work with or drive around that brand every day. Yeah. The importance of building a strong brand. So, so to build a brand, you need an element of like long-term thinking. They just think that they can launch a logo and now we're a brand. It's like, no, that's not kind of how that works. Um, so many people, I think now, because of social media or just complete misconceptions, think that, oh, I can launch a business and then it's going to be an overnight success. There's no better time to plant an orchard. If you didn't plant one 20 years ago, there's no better time to plant an orchard than today, right? Well, because you've done the right things from the start. Focus and delayed gratification are actually now considered superpowers because not many people have them before. <laughs>